Hello my friends, welcome to another great lesson with Lena. Today we're going to talk about the accent. The accent is a little punctuation mark that is put on top of vowels and shows us where we raise our voice. What syllable of the word is stressed? Kalimera. Τι κάνετε? Here we have three words. The first word is Kalimera. It has four syllables. When we pronounce the word Kalimera, we stress the second syllable from the last, me. So that's where we put the accent. Kalimera. The second word is ti. It only has one syllable, so we don't need to use an accent. Ti. The last word of this sentence is kanete. It has three syllables and the accent goes on the first syllable or the third syllable from the last. Κάνετε. Καλημέρα. Τι κάνετε? Now it's time to see the rules. The accent goes on top of vowels only. When we have a vowel combination, the accent goes on top of the second vowel of the combination. We can find an accent only on one of the last three syllables of a word. We don't use an accent on one syllable words, but there are some exceptions here. Also, words that are written with all capital letters don't get an accent. But when the first vowel of a word is stressed and written in capital, then it gets an accent on the top left. Now, we're going to see some examples and discover the exceptions. Patata. Where should they put an accent? Patata. That's right, second syllable from the last. Patata. Portocalli. Portocalli. Where should I put an accent? That's right. Second syllable from the last. Portocalli. But. Portocalli. Portocalli. Where should I put the accent here? Exactly. The last syllable of the word. So, portocalli is the color. The stress is on the last syllable. But portocalli, that's the fruit. The accent is on the second syllable from the last. Pafsi, pafsi. That's a vowel combination, alpha and y. The accent goes always on the second vowel of the vowel combination, so it goes on Y. Pafsi. Same thing here. Revma. Revma. A vowel combination, Epsilon and Y. The accent goes on Y. Revma. Same thing here. Emma. Alpha and Yoda is a vowel combination. If you don't know what this is, go see the video about the vowels. So, Emma, a vowel combination, Alpha and Yoda, and the accent goes on the second vowel, Yoda. Emma. Let's move on to the one syllable words that usually don't get an accent. As I said before, there are some exceptions here. Let's see the rule first. Ne. Ne. So, this is a one syllable word and it does not get an accent. Pu. Pu. The word pu has two meanings. It can mean where, but it can also mean that, who, which. In the second case, it does not get an accent, but when it means where, when it is an interrogative word, then it gets an accent. 
The same thing happens with πώς. Πώς has two meanings. It can mean how, an interrogative word, or it can mean that, introducing a subordinate clause. In the first case, when it is an interrogative word, it gets an accent, just like που. But when it is used to introduce a subordinate clause, then it does not get an accent. Another one-syllable word that always gets an accent is the word e. E means or. It is not to be confused with the feminine form of the definite article. The definite article, feminine, masculine or neuter, never gets an accent. So, the word e, written with a symbol eta and an accent, means always or. Ne ή όχι. Yes or no. If you are familiar with the diphthongs, then you know that when Y, Y, Y and Omicron Y are pronounced together with the following vowel, they are considered to be one syllable. But we have to pay attention here because they are not always pronounced together with the following vowel. We have to first listen to the word and then decide if we'll consider them one syllable. For example, ya. We have epsilon yota and alpha. And as you can hear, they are pronounced together. Ya. So it is considered one syllable. That's why ya does not get an accent. The same happens with pia, which means any more. Yota and alpha are pronounced together, so they are considered one syllable and they don't get an accent. There are also some words that can be pronounced two different ways. For example, mia or minha. In the first case, of course, mia gets an accent because yota is pronounced separately from alpha, mia, two syllables. So, yota gets an accent, just like we hear it. But, mia, one syllable, no accent. Yota and alpha are pronounced together. The exact same thing happens with vio and vio. First case, Two syllables, an accent on Y. Second case, vio, one syllable, no accent. It's your choice how you will pronounce these words. So, I will be very short here because this is not for beginners. We'll see about that in later lessons. But for now, keep in mind that the weak forms of the personal pronouns sometimes may get an accent, even though they are one-syllable words, and this happens when we want to avoid confusion with a possessive pronoun that has the same form. Ο δάσκαλός μας μας είπε. As you can see, we have two μας here. The first μας does not have an accent, and this is a possessive pronoun, our teacher. But the second mass has an accent. It is a personal pronoun and it means us. He told us. So, as you may have noticed, in this example, we may have a problem. The word δάσκαλος, teacher, has two accents here. Why did that happen? Just keep in mind that this happens only with words that have an accent on the third syllable from the last, δάσκαλος, third syllable from the last, and it is pronounced so closely with the following word that they sound as one word, ο δάσκαλός μας. Imagine that the accent from μας shifted to the left on the last syllable of δάσκαλος. But enough with that for now, let's continue with some sentence examples. Η Άννα ή η Μαρία? Η Άννα 
ή η Μαρία. A lot of ita here, but we know that e with an accent is a conjunction and it means or. So, ita without an accent is always an article, a feminine article. E Anna, e Maria. Anna or Maria. And you can also see that the word Anna is stressed on the first syllable. Of course, it is a proper noun, it is a name of a person, so it gets an accent on the capital Alpha on the top left corner. Η θεία μας είπε πως είναι καλά. Our aunt said that she is fine. First, we have Thea. Epsilon Yota and Alpha. They are not pronounced together. Epsilon Yota is stressed, so it gets an accent. Two syllables. Second, we have Mas. Here, it is a possessive pronoun. Our aunt, so it does not get an accent. And finally, we have Pos. Here, it means that. It introduces a subordinate clause. Πώς είναι καλά, so it does not mean how and it does not get an accent. And that was it. There are some more exceptions, but I don't think it's very important to talk about them right now. The most important things about the accent are presented in this video. If you found this video helpful, then leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And if you want to take the next step and really support me, then you can do this on Patreon. I'll have the link in the description. That's it for now. See you next time. Bye-bye.